So these are tears of joy, first of all. <laughs> so happy to be here. <laughs> so, hi, hi. I, would, I did the seven steps a year ago, July, so um, I recognize some of you. So I'm just gonna share one thing that I got from the seven steps, because it's huge. So um, I had IBS really bad, and to give you an idea how bad it was, I went to the ER 29 times in five years. So I was going like every other month, and um, I live alone, and I live above, below a woman who would hear me scream for help for hours, sometimes when I went to the ER, and sometimes when I didn't, and, and would never come. So it was a very lonely illness, and I lived alone, and I had my dog who can do much. Thanks for telling your dog story. Oh, you're welcome. Um, and... It was just really, really painful, and I finally went to a naturopath and found out I had parasites and got rid of them, but I was um, only about 75% well, 70% well, and the rest of it was this emotional work, and it was, you know, I've done the conversations with God, I've done all that stuff, I've done all the emotional work, it's like, you know, enough already, how much do I have to cry? So I came to the seven steps, and I wanted to know nothing about it, because I didn't want to have any expectations, and when I got the seven steps I decided I didn't want to be there <laughs> <laughs> these weren't my people how do I get out of here what have I got myself into and <laughs> people were giving up testimonials and I was like what you said oh, that works for them but it won't work for me you just don't know my story and so we broke up into a the first time we did the seven steps with with them um, with somebody and I'm telling her everything and she's writing everything down and all of a sudden I said I'm not in control of my life. And as soon as I said that, it was like the Red Sea parted, and I went, well, who the hell put me on an airplane from Boulder, Colorado, brought me here, and who got me here on time, and who's sitting in my chair following instructions, and if I'm not in control of my life. So long story short, that was a huge moment for me. Yeah. Because it wasn't just who's in control of my life, it was every area of my life. So I've been lying to myself about being in control of my emotions or being in control of my health or being in control of my love life or being in control of my finances because I thought I, w I wasn't in control. So I knew in that moment it was going to be really, really big because I was taking the lid off all the different areas of my life because this was the umbrella over everything. Yeah. And how my life is different now is I have no <laughs> IBS. <laughs> so I... I wake up every morning and I don't have pain and I'm not in the bathroom all the time and I'm not screaming for help and I'm not going to the ER and I don't take any medication and I got on a plane and I came here, which I wouldn't have been able to do without coming late because I was in the bathroom all morning or, or calling in and saying I'm going to miss one of the days or something like that. So I am IBS free after many, many years because of the, five, the seven steps and I couldn't be more grateful to you. because. I don't know if any of you all can relate to this, but when you get part of your life back, it's huge. Yeah. And I'm really, really um, selfish about it. So now that I have my health back, it's like no, nothing is going to take it away from me. So That's thank right. you so much. Can you share having IBS and not going yes. to the hospital I for took a year? My, I have a really good relationship with my ex-husband, and I even like his, ex, or his wife better. I think we kind of look alike, and we could be sisters, and I'd be her friend if she wouldn't married to my ex husband Anyways, um, we all went out to, to um, what was the story? Well, you celebrated oh, a, whole, yeah, yeah. a whole year. I told them all I wanted to take them out for um, dinner or lunch to celebrate my one year anniversary of not going to the hospital, the ER, and they all thought that was weird, but, and I was so excited that when the bill came, I thought it said $86, and I gave the guy a $45 tip, and it said $66. Wow, that's great, Janet. So, yeah. The results and benefits of our training are only available to members of our private association. To learn more, call 877-680-8200 or visit TotalHealthMasteryUSA.com forward slash 7 steps.